the movies and don't have the stories that we have in America or in Europe. I mean, is this something that you said inbuilt? Is it really? I'm not aware of all the studies. I think red for sure is something for which we have a relatively innate attentional bias. Uh, red is, is uh, processed as salient in the environment. Because so much of it depends on the person. Like, there could be a person here in America for whom red is really calming because of their particular circumstances. Yeah, it was actually funny. I just got back from China yesterday. So I flew in, and one of the things you notice even from the sky looking down over Chinese cities is how much red lighting there is, like red LEDs. And so I associate red with stuff. Like if red, it's, it's meant to catch my attention. Restaurants have their, you know, title of the restaurant in red. Um, so it's also meant to catch your attention, to stimulate arousal, but in less of like in blue. Because of the physical shape of the molecules? Right, the shape of red. Wow. So, <laughs> right. I guess this is going to be a question I want to keep coming back to. How do we really define a placebo? Because I, I think in the episode I say something like there's no active ingredient that should cause that effect. But yet, if a pill is calming because it happens to be blue, because its molecular structure reflects blue light the best, then there is something chemically right. in that pill that works in calming you. And it's not because the, the ingestion helps. It's just the color alone. Yeah, we have almost two years worth. 
actually about you. First of all, how old are you? Very good guess. I'm 31. Ooh. So tell me about like, before Nathan diagnosis. What were kind of the symptoms you were seeing? Tantrums all the time. And what did you think of this, Nathan? Were you like, why are my parents not happy? It's to treat their children with little success. But they were about to find out whether their symptoms could she. This groundbreaking study of the power of suggestion in action is the brainchild of pioneering researchers at McGill University's esteemed RAS lab. We Anytime the mind is regulating the body or, or vice versa, that that's the topic of the study. Now you said the word placebo, and the device that we are using is a sham scanner. Tell me about the scanner. What we do with the MRI scanner is we...